everybody, McKnight here. Welcome back to Brewmaster. We're jumping straight in with this message from Jeff. He says, It's time for the next vital step in your journey, Brewer. All grain brews replace malt extracts with, you guessed it, grains. And in so doing, open up a vast new world of flavor combinations and mouth-watering beer styles. Believe me, once you go all grain, you never go back. Okay? If you say so, my guy, I, 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 I'm going to take your word for it, my dude. I've sent you a package containing a trusty companion to all home brewers, a repurposed picnic cooler. This will serve as your mash tun, using all grain recipes to get sugars out of grains. You'll essentially be making your own extract now. You'll find a couple of all grain recipes in the latest issue of the quarterly to get you started. Let's get mashing. I, um, if you trust me, Jeff, if you trust me, I'll just like a nice one. All right, so local metal detecting club, the Dirt Sharks. Okay, that's a cool name. I've requested an all-grain brew to commemorate the recent milestone of 1,000 bottle caps discovered. Can I have some on Pokemon, please? Uh, and then this one is a local board game cafe is looking for delicious pale ale to feature in their regular event tabletop tipples. That also sounds like a, a, a meeting of board games that I could get behind. Is the clue. Uh, right, so ABV can increase for any recipe by adding more grains. Or all grain recipes or malt extracts for malt. Right, okay. So, right. Okay, so we're starting to learn it. Last time I was like, how do we make... Uh, when, I, when I was looking at, like, th it's this kind of beer, and I was like, how do you know how to adjust this stuff? So, this looks like this is going to tell me. What do we got here? So, this one's a pale ale. That's a blonde ale. I should probably read this as well, but I'm lazy. There's the mash turn. I'm guessing that's that's what it says there. That's a specialized container for all grain recipes. Uh, so that's for specialized containers for grains to extract fermentable sugars. Okay. Extract based brewing doesn't require a mash turn as the sugars needed for brewing are already in the consumable state. So it looks like we can do a Belgian IPA. Or we can do this blonde nail. Mmm. Mm, that one needs a mash turn. Oh, they both need a mash turn. Okay, that's fine. We can do either. We'll do the, the blonde ale then, which I'm guessing is this one. Because it doesn't actually say, but that one says that one's a pale ale, which would be... Which would be that one. All right. Hey, that's got a flavored banana. Nice. Very... Wait, didn't they say this is the winter? Very summery. All right, so we'll start this one first. All right, so now we'll pin this recipe. And then, um, oh, no, we need to check the... The catalog, make sure we've got the... the. Oh, we need to... We need grains. Are we going to be able to afford it? Oh, it's only 10. Of course we can... Oh, that's, no, that's 20, that's 10. Okay, we've got plenty at the minute. That's 40 spent. We need more hops. We'll just chuck it all in the cart. It's like me. Honey. I'm not a fan of honey, I'm afraid. Not a fan. Alright. Uh, and then in true particular style, we've got it here. This should help you with your first all-grain brew. I hope it serves you as well as it did me. I'm assuming there it is. There it is. Heat tolerant? No. Probably, yeah, probably, uh... End up wow! I just bashed my keyboard. It'll probably end up uh, melting or something. Who didn't put these in the bin? I had one job last time. I had one. Is this clean? Yeah, this is clean. All right. So add the grain to the mash turn. I'm guessing the mash turn's in here. I'm guessing this. No. Ah, it's in this one. Um, where would you put this? Let's, let's, I don't know, put this one, put it there. Can we adjust? Oh, there's a tap on it. Okay. I suppose we want to do that. Uh, add the grains. They'll be over here. I should probably check how much. 300 American, 250 crystal and multi wheat, 108. Oh, no, I'm not going to remember that. Uh, three kilos of this one. That's, that's not right. 
Okay, we need a kilo of that. And then two kilos of that. Why you like this? This one was 250. Sure thing, game. And I think this was... I think that was like the same, basically. Or 180. All right. You can drop that. You can drop that. And then you two, because you're the same. Right, set the lid off and let's uh, start doing the things. Do we need to put water? Did it say not put water in that or something? I don't know. We'll find out as we go along. It's what tutorial's for. In you go, grains. We want three kilos of this. That's two kilos. Yeet. There's the... Three kilos, that's a lot of grain. I doubt it'll fill it up though. But this one is the crystal amber. This one wants 250 grams. So half a bag. Daddy, that'll do. A loop near enough. And then this one is 180. like a precision job done you can sit there all right i'm gonna put the lid on that just i don't know why okay off that one can be ticked 21 liters of water and brew to the brew container and heat to 74 c i'm gonna just turn this on Fill this up to 21. That on there. It's a heat to 74. And then add 10 liters of hot water. We're going to heat it to 65. Wait, what? All right. I have no clue how this is going to go, but this is what tutorials are for, I guess. Hold on to your butts. Alright, we're basically at 74 now. So that's heated. 10 litres. No! I pushed the wrong button. It's fine though. 10 litres. How much do we get out of like one click of the mouse wheel? I'm scared now. That'll do, that'll do, that'll do. We're gonna put that there for now. Put the lid down. No, I pushed the wrong button again. I pushed C, not B. Fat fingering stuff. Old mash turn for 65 for one hour. How do we do that? By topping up with hot water when required. Holy smokes. All right, it's... This is gonna be, uh... This is going to be an interesting one. But the temperature is 65. So, if that's the case, can can we just put you here? I kind of regret not. You can come here. Yeah, there's not enough. There's loads of space. There you go. Loads of space. Okay, so it's 10 to 11. This is where things are going to get sketchy. But it's fine. 10 to 11. How much do we let it drop by? Like a degree? How does this work? No, doing it a degree would just be silly. I tell you what, we'll do it every... We'll top it up every 15 minutes. That makes sense. That makes sense. Jeff, if you don't like it and you, and you happen to see... No, that's that's too high. Cool, cool. Put it on the floor. That's what we used to do at welding when I was learning to weld. We put it on the floor. 
Um, well, well, no, actually, this could be good. This could be good. This could top it up a little bit faster. I know what I'm doing. I know what I'm doing. I'm a pro. By that, I mean I'm making videos on the internet. About something I have no clue about. 63. See? See? It's working. It's working. I knew this would work. It's like, it's like running a bath. Except instead of bath, it's beer. It's like running a beer. Yeah, you heard me. You heard me. All right, so we'll check that back in another 15 minutes, which will be 20 past. Which have we got this chill music? Okay, so that's 20 past. Let's do a get house. See, see, see. Now it's, that's it. Uh, 70. I nearly pushed T then, when I want um, E. Sixty-three. Wish I could see. Oh, yeah, hold on. What's this X-ray? Picnic cooler, small. Current. Ah, this. Oh, geez, a genius button. That'll do. That'll do. That'll do. Shut the lid. Shut the lid. Pop that on there, it'll still be warm. Alright. Is that not gonna like run out of like space? Yeah, that was twenty past, so it's been five minutes. Okay, that's another fifteen minutes. That's I forgot to heat it. Darn sarn it. This is not looking good. I should have left it on the boil. Why didn't I leave it on the boil? This is it's only a mini disaster. It's, it, I, we can we can come back from this one. Only if we put it in there, it'll cool it down. We don't want to cool it down. Come on, faster. He's only got three liters in there. Science says this will... This will... Uh, he's up faster than this. Cools down because... Of volume. I nearly said mass then, but it's not. It's volume. Also, what time did I say it was? 10 to? Yeah, it was 10 to. So we've got like another 10 minutes before we have to take it out. I'm going to like skip it on a bit just so I know what I'm doing next. Perform the mash out. Heat 11 liters of water at 100 in the brew container and then transfer to the mat. Oh my, we need another one. All right, all right, all right, all right. Is this warmed up yet? It's still warming up. Right. You can disappear. You. We'll have another container. Because I'm big brain to see. Oh, we've only got one. Oh yeah. Uh, I can't put I can't put plastic on the stove because that'll melt and that'll probably kill us. That's fine though. We're almost at the heating anyway, so it'll be fine. 62. At this rate, we're gonna be five. We could just throw it in. You know what? It's not a bad idea actually. How much does that hold? 25 liters. And we're at 20. Plus three, lit three and a half liters. Okay, there's plenty of room in there then. That's fine. Right. Um, the heater can stay on. Because remember, we, re we remember what happened a minute ago. This can go in. Warm this up. That's everything. See, we're pros. Then this needs filling up. This lid needs going on. All right. We got 10 minutes at that. Not exactly 65, but it's fine. I don't know how we're going to... Top up with hot water required. Perform the mash out. Heat 11 litres... Oh, 11. Yeah, yeah. Dude, keep an eye on that. 11 litres of water. Then there's going to be too much in there. That's what? 23 in there already? Okay, if you say so. If you say so. I'm trusting you, Warlock. I'm trusting. I'm trusting. I know you did the research. Well, you say you did the research. What I think actually happened is you all went out for a beer. Which is fine. But I'm assuming the research is going to help me. <laughs> it was uh, it was nice keeping up with the uh, Aurox social media when they were out researching in inverted commas. I think they were just out for a bit, but you know, it's funny how the research always happened on a Friday night. I'm joking; it was not a Friday night. It was just probably going to need a little bit more than this because we're going to need to boil it. 
let's put 12 in there. Um, probably turn that off. I keep expecting it to turn off itself. Which is probably not the best idea, is it? Uh, I wish I had another little part. Can we buy another little part? We're actually going to buy another little part. Equipment. Brew containers. 20. That means we're only going to have 30 left. Yeah. That is 100 litres. That's a lot. Hmm. I guess we can't in this economy. Transfer the wort from the mash tun to, a brew, to the brew container, which is this one, right? No, that's fermentation. We need the brew container, which should be... Oh, no, it's back into the pot. I'm assuming this is still fine being low. Well, this is heating faster than that cause. See, it's called science. Woohoo, it's boiling. Right, I'm going to pump it right onto the boil. Look at that boiling. Lovely. Can we make tea instead? You can make it to 100, and that's near enough. Right. So. Heat 11 litres of water. Then transfer to the... I don't see how this is going to work. Call me, like, pessimistic, but I don't see this working. No, I pushed the wrong button again. I haven't played for a few nights, so I'm like, I've forgotten what I'm doing. Right. We've got to pour 11 litres. I think Jeff's having a laugh. We need a bigger... See, it's spilling over! Jeff, what are you... What were you thinking now? We're making a mess! Save the beer. YouTube comments, save the beer. It'll be fine. It, it, it'll be fine. Transfer the water to the mat to the yes. The heat water until boiling. Yes. Um tube, I guess. Tube. Must be a tube. The game has only ever said use tube. Yes. Connect the tube. Um, you actually need to go on the floor. Get the tube to there. Open the tap. Now we've spilt half of it because Jeff gave us a, a, a cool box that's too uh, too small. There's, there's, there's something wrong here. There's something wrong here. 843.5 grams of something under... I'm assuming that's the grains that's just undissolved. Let's see, now that's over... Oh, Jeff, what are you like, my man? Because now, the problem we have here, the problem we have here is, this is just going to overflow. This is terrible. This is a terrible. Who brews like this? Anybody in the comments that's like, oh, you're doing it right. I know I'm doing it right. I know nothing about beer. I'm just, I'm just trying to do what it says here. Heat water until boiling. You, I don't know. Clean it, I guess. Is there going to be grain in there? No. Okay. You can just... Oh, this is terrible. He bought... He, he bought... <laughs> we need more bought license plate. No, it, heat the wort until boiling. Right, we'll just pop that there. Add the hops. 50 minutes of 5 Gs of black wood. There we go. 5 grams. Oh, yeah, we got that out. Add other ingredient 50 grams of honey. Ew. I suppose. Do you keep honey in the fridge? No. You don't, do you? Honey, I guess. I see, I can organize. I'm just not very good at doing the other bit. Maybe you let the temperature drop a little bit more than I was letting it, which kind of makes sense. Then there'd be less in it, but... Okie doke. We live and we learn. Some for the future. Unless we can boil some of this off. But somehow, I don't think so. Well, we lost half a litre, so we there is hope. There is some hope. Alright, let's put this in here. So now this is on for 50 minutes, and it's half past four. Excellent. 
Uh, oh, we need another hops, so I should probably get that out. So, cascade of 55 grams. Which will be at the bottom. Ah, uh, it's this one. 55 grams. Drop you there. I'm guessing... The honey goes in... Now? Let's just chuck it in now. What's the worst that could happen? I suppose it would boil off, wouldn't it? I can get rid of this now. Um, 50 grams. In goes honey. Perfect. Perfect. Right, let's do the 50 minutes. That's going to be 20 past 5. And that's time. Right. In goes... This for 10 minutes. 10 minutes. That's half as five. Ding, 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 winner. Right, now we take these out. Put them in the bin. Oh, we need to cool. There we go. They can go in the bin. Cool the wart. Water's been cooled. Transfer to fermentation container, which is this one. Hit the lid off. Don't know why it looks at the floor then. I didn't see how much was in there. Probably about 20 liters. No, not a bad guess. Actually, there's, there's a bit more, but same difference. Uh, right, that's transferred. Add yeast. Clean that. Add the yeast. Yeast is in the fridge. Yeast is this. SoCal... Right? It was SoCal, wasn't it? SoCal Ale 1. SoCal Ale 1. In it goes... The lid on. Cloud in the bin. What's this? Oh, it's the grains. Uh, yes. Ding, ding, ding. Tick that off. Ferment for 15 days. All right. 15 days later. Add the corn sugar. 150 grams. Hey. How handy of having that there. It's almost like I planned it. In you go. Oh, oh, it'll be fine. It'll be fine. I got a little bit carried away. Transfer to conditioning container. Did I not leave that one out? No, I didn't. Oh, yeah, no, you don't, do you? Because that's what you put the beer in and then you taste it from that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I knew that. I knew that. I've been playing this game. In you go. See, I feel like this is the section that it should, like, rest in here for a day or two. Maybe that's, I don't know. You know what I'm going to do? Before I go to bed tonight, I was going to watch Netflix, but... I might just... Um, go on YouTube and, like, how is beer brewed? Might help. Might help me out. Cube on that. No! No! We spilled it. Oh, this is a just... Guess worse. I thought... I thought, you know what? My, uh... Is there an actual mess on the floor? Or is it just lighting? I think it's just lighting. I thought to myself, you know what? My beers are... I should be quite proud of my beers. 21 days. And now I'm like, this is... Probably the most disastrous disaster that has ever disastered. In terms of my beer brewing career. All right. 21 days. Taste and package the beer. I mean... If you want me to... We can do that. Taste beer. It's not on fire, so that's something. And it's pale, so... Winner. Brilliantly clear. Yes, it is. <laughs> 21 point... Yeah, no, there should be about 20... 
27 liters by the amount that I actually made. It's fruity and spicy, which is exactly what it said. Honey, do we th was this the one with... No, it's not the one with the banana flavor note in it. We give him a hiccup. Not very, not very strong, which is fine. Body's very thin. 10% contamination. Is that good? The lower the contamination, the higher the quality of the beer. So what you're saying is this beer is only 90% good. Not even that, 18... 89.6 This is the bit I was saying about at the start So it says unmatched stats So I'm guessing it teaches you how to actually Do that I guess Wait is it saying it's not strong enough Maybe it's just teaching me like The main stuff at the minute Like oh this is how you use the mash done Alright Yeah <laughs> I hate to say this but I I hate to name it that, but it's kind of true. I don't think anybody's going to buy it, but it is what it is. It's definitely... Moving on. Moving on. Right, which one should we... That's a stout glass. That's a... Weizen, is that? I'm going to get destroyed. Anybody that German... Goblet. That's a Belgian pint. This is a pale ale, isn't it? That one will do. All right, let's make the label and then uh, we'll be back. It's not my best beer label, but uh, I don't know what I did here with the the white and the the mauvey coloured. But I went with the the yeast thing because it's like eh, bacteria's on the floor probably. So yeah, let's see what they say. We didn't do the bonus requirement. Use any ingredient of the subcategory grains. Killed grain. Killed malts. I don't think it said anything about that, did it? So I'm guessing we just, we got one or a bottle cup. That's, please tell me we have that as a, a fridge magnet. That'd be cool. All right. Let's see what they say, I guess. It, it's complete. Well, yep, it's something. Oh, yeah, of course. It's the, they were looking for the 1,000 bottle caps. So it makes sense, yeah. Maybe I was meant to just throw one of them in. Interesting. Let's have a look, see what the label actually looks like. It looks terrible, just like that beer probably tastes. I'd like to know where the other kegs are. That's one thing I would like to know, but Ayo. Never mind, we'll pop this one on the... This one can go on like... The Shelf of Shame. The terrible shelf of shame. So. That one's completed. I guess we're now making this pale ale. It's an IPA. Same difference if you ask me. Same difference. Oh no, it's using a the mash tun again, isn't it? I forgot. We'll do that one in the next episode. I need my, my brain needs to cool down. Um, but if you have liked this chaos, do consider subscribing to the channel, pop a like on the video, help me with the YouTube stuffs. Uh, there'll be a link down below to my Twitch if you want to hang out, chat, whatever. Uh, maybe see you there. If not, I'll see you in the next video. Have a great day and cheerio.